All right, so in this video, I'm quickly going to show you um, another custom design that I created using uh, CSS. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's cascading style sheets. Don't worry too much about it, um, but it's a way for you to customize your page um, and configure things like fonts and background images and, and stuff like that and um, overall layout, look and feel so that you don't have to make those changes for every single post or item on your page. So it's sort of a global settings uh, file that, that houses all those types of settings. So um, This weekend is uh, there's a UFC fight. Uh, George St. Pierre is fighting uh, Carlos Condit. So I created this Rebel Mouse site. Um, UFC, UFC 154 I think it is or something like that. Um, that was taken, that name was taken, so I just took their names, St. Pierre versus Condit, you can see up here, and then um, I just created this background image, and um, what I want to do now is add in an RSS feed from the UFC site, because they're probably going to be start talking about this site quite a lot. So first thing we want to do is, let me find the RSS I just type in RSS on the page to find out where this button is and here it is get more UFC I want to take that RSS feed link and what I want to do is add it to my Rebel Mouse site so that I can start pulling content in from the UFC site directly into my Rebel Mouse site so to do that we just go to sites and then I've got a few things on the Singapore Rugby Sevens and a few other things here. But anyway, we click on, you find your site, yes, St. Pierre versus Condit. Click on Add RSS. Just copy and paste that URL in there. Click Add. Real Mouse validates that the feed is, in fact, configured properly. And it is, because I didn't get an error message. All right, so now my site is set up to pull in content from UFC.com. Okay, it normally takes a bit of time for that to come through. And in the meantime, I'm going to head over to Twitter. Twitter.com. What I want to know, what I want to do now is look for. This is a dummy account that I've set up. I want to look at. I want to connect with the UFC's Twitter posts. So uh, here's a number of different ones. This would probably be the main one at UFC. So what I'm going to do now is go over to my dashboard. And I'm going to go to Twitter. And now I can put an UFC over there, it should pull it up. Yep, that's the one. Publish tweets and retweets. Let's go have another look. Okay, so this is the main one. Let's see. Lots of tweets from the UFC. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for now. Actually, that's... Uh, Look for George Saint Pierre. Oops. So we'll grab his Twitter account as well. We'll add, take out that ad symbol because it's already in there. We'll add him. And then let's see, let's add Carlos as well. Carlos, um, Carlos Condit, and let's grab his Twitter feed as well. All right, so now we've got the UFC, we've got George St. Pierre, and we've got Carlos Condit. Their tweets will automatically be posted to this site, um, along with that RSS feed from the UFC site itself. So we should be getting some good content coming in. Like I said, it takes, um, there we go, you can see already some information coming in. I don't know where that, 
lots of stuff. That's from the UFC site. If we don't like certain posts on here, we can actually just um, remove them like that. So that's a quick site that I set up for this UFC competition. I'm going to change this background to include, include titles, kind of, and then I'll show you how I did that as well. Thanks for watching.